today we're in beautiful Miramar Beach, Florida at the post office. We're going to take some video here on public property and see if the folks respect our First Amendment right to do so. What company are you with? Or what company are you with? What company are you with? You're on federal property. I want to know who you're with. You're not coming in until you tell me who you are. I'm not coming in? No, you have to have ID to come in here and be approved to enter the building. We have another one pulling in. They're saying y'all are going to restricted areas? Yeah, I know. He's lying to you. How's it going guys? Watching the Watchman here, out with him against it press. And today we're in beautiful Miramar Beach, Florida at the post office. And as usual, we're gonna take some video here on public property and see if the folks respect our First Amendment right to do so. So let's see how it goes. Today is Saturday, November 6th, 2021. It is 12.03 p.m. And it is 59 degrees and sunny and a little breezy here in Miramar Beach. Hey, make it out there, Watchman. What's up? What's happening? So, uh... Yeah, what do you think? What do you think the move is? Um, another one of those places down here with no sidewalk, so I don't know if you just want to... Go on uh, Go take property a walk right away. Yeah, just check out the outside or whatever. Sure. Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> As a tiny little friend of mine once said, let's do it. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if you guys heard that when I first uh, started the video, but the lady that uh, went by in the little Volkswagen bug said, see if you can get him to cut the grass. <laughs> so, uh, You guys are familiar, another poorly maintained post office property. Uh, most post offices we go to have uh, some kind of maintenance issue, uh, whether it be overgrown grass like this, um, or a lot of post offices, I, I jokingly call it the UP, USPS garbage pile. A lot of post offices somewhere on the property have a big pile of garbage just sitting somewhere. So. We'll see if we can find it today. Some of them don't have it, but we'll see. And this is the overgrown grass we're talking about. This is the loading dock here. So no signage indicating this is any type of uh, restricted area or anything. Or roller skating. Oh no, gentlemen. What exactly are you doing? We're doing a property inspection. A what? Property inspection. For who? So we're taking a look at the uh, grass that needs to be cut, some repairs that need to be made on the building. Okay. Are you the postmaster? No, I'm the supervisor working right now. Okay, so I'll come in and take a look at you. Talk to you. What company are you with? Well, I'll come in and talk to you when we're done. What company are you with? Like I said, when I'm done doing my inspection, I'll, what's your first name? I'll come in and ask for you. What company are you with? Sir, when I'm done doing my inspection, I will give you all the information. You're on federal property. I want to know who you're with. Well, I just explained myself. No, you didn't say who you're well, with. I've called the explanation. I'm done. I'll be happy to explain all the You're not coming in until you tell me who you are. I'm not coming in? No, you have to have ID to come in here and be approved to enter the building. I have to have ID to enter a post office and be approved? The back the of the house? I'm not coming in the back of the house. I'm not interested in going into any unrestricted area, uh, restricted areas, anything that's off limits. We're sticking to public areas. Okay, but who are you with? I, we're going in a circular conversation, so I'll see you in Because you're room. not answering, so... Uh... You supposed to be smoking out here, too? Excuse you? Are you supposed to be smoking cigarettes out I'm here next break. to the back door? I'm on break. Next to the back door? 
How many feet away from the door are you supposed to be? All right, you're leaving. Yeah, I'm leaving. Good <laughs> boy. Not very professional. I just told you what I'm doing. You said what you're doing, not who you're with. Well, I mean, you're telling me things that don't count, so I don't, I don't have that. Embarrassed about the condition of his property here, I think. Yeah. So here's the back side of the post office. I thought he was trying to tell me we needed ID to go in the front door. <laughs> wow. wow, that's fascinating. You're not allowed in this area. What are you talking about? The sign right there says you're not an employee, you're not allowed in this oh, area. Oh, really? Let's see what the sign says. Can I, am I going to be able to read the sign, or is it faded into a uh, white uh, you you're, you're brilliant. Can I read? So, reserved parking for postal employees only. I'm not a vehicle. Another interesting thing about these signs, it's a CVC section something, uh, which is California Vehicle Code, and we're in Florida, so... Not sure about that. Don't make a false police report, not true. Everything's being reported. Yeah. David. All they will say is that they're So this guy's name is David. Viewing and appraising the property. Appraising? I never said I was appraising anything. <laughs> you gotta get accurate, David. Do you speak? And don't tell any lies, David. I'm going to FOIA request that phone call. Make sure you tell the truth. Yes. Stick to reality, buddy. Don't embellish. Did you see that sign? That he, was, that he pointed out, the statute at the bottom is citing California Vehicle Code. Yeah, I know. All right, so uh, let's go over with David. So David is claiming that this parking lot is a restricted area. And... Uh, I'll half agree with them. It is a restricted area. It's restricted from non-employee vehicles parking here. It says nothing about pedestrian traffic. And a matter of fact, it doesn't even say anything about driving through here. So uh, if you're not a postal employee and you want to drive through this parking lot, I don't see any reason why you couldn't do that. You just can't park here. And they're stating CVC section SEC 22658 MVPD 9036344. So uh, I don't know. Uh, Watchman believes that that means California Vehicle Code. And uh, in the state of Florida, that would be a little strange. But uh, I don't really know what that means. So if anybody else does, please chime in in the comments and let us know. I don't know who MVPD is. Definitely not Miramar Beach. They don't even have a police department. Gonna get an education today, David. Turn on your listening ears. Class is in session. Teach David a thing or two about postal property rules today. Man, this place is in like complete disrepair. I really take pride in this place. Wow. Broken door. 
You're going to find out. The police will tell you why I can do what I do. Hello? He either needs to go get a lawnmower, a paintbrush, a broom, something. Clean this place up, man. feel good about it when people come by with cameras and not be so upset. It's amazing. A uh, wise man once said, if you point a camera at a crowd of people, the one who's doing something wrong will come right up to your lens. One. Sheriff Vehicle 2121. Oh, How are we doing, bud? Good, man. I'm going to talk to y'all just a minute, okay? Let me go talk to them see what their, what their deal is. Yes, okay? sir. All you right. got it. All right, Appreciate guys. you. We have another one pulling in. Sheriff's vehicle 2010. I think that's our friend from yesterday. Yeah, it's the guy from yesterday. Yeah, if it's the at, same guy. At uh, Fluent. There he is. How's it going again, guys? Good. How we doing, bud? He's going. Look, they're saying y'all are going to restricted areas. Yeah, I know. He's lying to you. Okay, wait. That's why we record, man. No, so, I understand. Uh, it's... He's got a sign back there on that back parking lot uh, at the back of the building that says employee parking only. So he feels like that means pedestrians can't walk back there. That's all it says. Just says no employees parking only. Yeah. That's it. I know you said you don't answer questions, so. Well, can, I, you, I, I answer some questions. Oh, well, I, that's sure. what I'm going to say. You can say no if you want. I'm just, I, I know you were out at the cannabis place yesterday. I thought it, you guys were recording because it was the cannabis store, but. You're out at the U.S. Post Office now. Do you? I, I, and like, I'm not. I'm not. You know what? You earned. You earned my respect yesterday. So I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, which is very yeah. unusual for me. But you earned it. Okay. So I just want you to remember. You know, I meet respect with respect. Yeah. You, you even moved to stay in my camera. You're one of the good oh, guys. I know. Man. I know that's I, what you wanted. It. I know that's what you want. So. All right. So, what we're doing is a First Amendment audit. Okay. You know what that is? I've, I, I think I've heard a little bit of it. It's like free speech. Uh, it's an it, exercise of rights. Yeah. Yeah. So what we do is we go to publicly accessible areas of public places. Yeah. And exercise our right to take video and photographs. We yeah. don't go into restricted areas. We don't violate the law. We know what it is. We do our homework. Uh, we've been in 30, I lost count, 30 plus states in the past two years driving about to hit 53,000 miles in defense of our constitution. That's what wow. we do. And this is my son. I think I told you that yesterday. No, you didn't. I, I yeah. assumed I assumed you guys were uh, in relation somehow. Yes, sir. Fifty-three thousand miles. Yes, sir. Early. Yep. How, I, I feel like our constitution has taken a proverbial ass whooping these days, and I'm not very happy about it. So, we try to be uh, proactive, and you know, like the old quote says, it's not the fault of the people doing what they're doing; it's the rest of us that do nothing. But good men that stand by and do nothing. Yeah. So we're just trying to. Uh, I'm just trying to leave a better world for my son here. Yeah. Understand. That's my mission and that's my goal. And uh, I think what David's concern is here, the supervisor at the post office, is the condition of this post office. So yeah, look at the grass. Look at the banner up there. I mean, it's just there's a mess all over the place. The whole back is a mess. They got tape all over the door. Yeah. So he doesn't want, you know, that's that's what his issue is. He doesn't like the cameras. It's not about us being here. If I didn't have a camera in my hand, he wouldn't even have called you. That probably is not. That's probably true. Okay. So he needs to, uh, to know. And he also told me that I need to show him identification before I'm allowed to go into the post office. So he, I think David's in dire need of an education here today, and I'm hoping you guys will be the ones to give it to him. Man, I don't know. That's, well, it's not that's, why you under, that's why you understand, you understand your rights. I'm not... I, well, we all know what we do. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm sure you, yeah. you know, you're very good at what you do and what you know. And 496. Who's closest on the map? 4191. What was the call? I don't know. 419 signal 42 at 90 Leon Street. Here, you, you go ahead and talk with them. I'll, I'll go take it. How are we doing, sir? Good, guys. How are we doing? So I heard about y'all yesterday. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> so Stirring it up in uh, Miramar Beach here, huh? Right, right, right. All right. So, I mean, as you know, 
Yeah, right, technically right, you're not doing anything wrong. Correct. Okay, Street, so you're here, within your rights. Leon. The only thing that I will caution on, it is a government facility. We're fully aware of that. So on the back docks, you, you, you can't film the operations of what they're doing. That's, that's, that's not true. Well. And I can just, prove it to you. I can show you a Department of Homeland Security memo, which gives me authority to film the outside of the post office. Outside, yes, but you can't be on the docks. Yes, we can. You can't be on the docks. Oh, no, I'm not. I was not right. on the docks. That, that was what the call was. I can't, well, it's not that I can't be on the dock, per se. I can't interfere with their goings on. Right. Right, so I'm not, so, my, I have no I mean, there's no there. signs that say restrict or anything like that, you know. No. And I was and just explaining to the other officer that in the back, the only sign there is says employee, employee park. parking. Right. It says nothing about pedestrians. And, and that's what I told him, you know. Right. So y'all y'all are fine, you know. And we are going to go inside. Obviously I'm going to buy a stamp. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. I mean, you're not harassing people going in and out of the no. post office or anything like that, so you're not, not breaking right. laws, okay? No, no, not at all. All right, well, this is what we do. Sounds, sounds like we're on the same page yesterday, then. Yes, sir. All right. And you know what? I always like to ask officers while I'm sitting, because you're coming across as one of the good guys. Okay. And I always say in anything in life, cameramen, police officers, seamstresses, whatever it is, there's always good and bad. That's right. right? That's right. So we have a lot of wonderful police officers in this country, a lot of good law enforcement, and we support that. But there's also some guys out there not so much. And that's in any business. Right. But you're coming across as one of the guys on the good side today. So I just have a quick question for you. What do you feel like a good police officer's worst enemy is? Uh, I would say himself. That's an interesting answer. I would say himself. I would say you've got to battle yourself, you know. But that's true. No, you're right. But I would say a bad cop. Oh, just like any other business. Well, you, you know, know, yeah. Except what the problem you got is. Good employees and bad employees. Well, the problem is a bad, look bad. bad cop goes out and does something stupid today, and then you pull that person over next week. Yeah. They're still pissed off at him. They take it out on you, and now your family's got to deal with it. Sure. So we need you guys to police the bad guys. Congratulate the good guys. Absolutely. Honor your oath. That's all we ask. Absolutely. Yep. That's what we get. I know you're trying to get to a call, so have yeah, at it. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Uh, if y'all need anything, give us a call, okay? Have a good one. All right. Have a good day. You too. All right, so let's, uh, let me close my monopod up here. We'll go inside and see how David's doing. No. They do not like answering the good cop's worst enemy question down here. No, they don't for some reason. Well, then that was interesting that he said himself. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's telling. But he did seem like one of the good guys, and uh, we know the other officer is uh, on on point, so we'll see how it goes. Stand by. Thank you. So you have your uh, typical retail area. It's very warm in here. Yeah, it is. Wow. It's blazing in here. So watching is looking at uh, poster seven here, which are the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property. Uh, documents called poster seven, if you've never heard of it. And uh, invite you to look it up on Google and uh, read it for yourself and see what you think. So, uh, post office boxes, typical setup here. Looks like we have a lot of boxes available. Yeah. yeah. If anyone's interested in renting a box here in Miramar Beach, they have plenty to rent. Wow, it is like sweltering hot in here. Yeah, that's 80 something degrees. Yeah, maybe the uh, AC went out. <laughs> There's no oxygen. Well, they have a uh, fire extinguisher, so that's yeah. good. Nobody stole it. So here are the prices if anyone's interested in getting a post office box. Do they take Apple Pay at the post office? I didn't bring any cash with me. Or my wallet. They're going to have to. <laughs> They're going to have to. I don't know if they do or not. If not, I'll have to come back and get my stamp later. We'll see. Turn my camera away while this young lady's doing her transaction here. There you go. Thank you so much. You have a nice day. Bye-bye. So did she just abandon the counter? We're going to start playing that game? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I hope not. I really don't want to stand in here. It's too hot. Isn't it warm in here? Yeah. <laughs> Need to turn the heat off. Open the windows or something. 
They don't even have one of those little bells. Anyone selling stamps? Hello? Need to buy a stamp, please. The customers out in the lobby. Thank you. Hello, how are you today? Need to buy a stamp, please? No, no, sir. No, sir? What, is it, what the heck does that mean? Did she just say no? Yeah. Bit odd. Huh. Ma'am, are you able to sell me a stamp? That would be great, thank you. Very much appreciate that. 58 cents. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Do you guys do Apple Pay? No. You don't? Um, you have no money on you, I'm sure, right? No. You don't do Apple Pay? No, sir. All right, I'll have to go out to the car and get I a... I wish you uh, had modern technology. Gotcha. Well, I appreciate you, and I appreciate you coming up and helping us out. I don't know what's going on back there, but I'll come back with some cash. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right, guys, so uh, AP got his money, and now we're going to go get our stamp. We're going to go back in, we're going to get our stamp, and uh, find out if they had any kind of special meetings while we were gone. <laughs> Should be interesting, so stand by. We'll see if David made it up to admit that he learned something today. Yeah. Which uh, you know, I highly suggest. Never, you can ask a lot of people. Whenever I'm wrong about something, the first thing I do is admit it, learn what's right, and try not to make the same mistake again. Thank you, sir. And uh, that's how you should roll. Wow, the heat. Wow. Whoever's controlling that thermostat's a lizard. <laughs> I gotta tell you, you are a sweetheart. I appreciate you uh, being so professional and courteous. Well, goodness, you asked to buy a stamp. What do you want me to say? Well, I don't know. The other lady <laughs> ran away. I don't know. People, we're just document. I'm traveling. This is my son. She was covering my break. Oh, I got you. Okay. I, was, I went to break. Well, I'm glad you're here anyway. And we needed just one stamp. stamp. And I'm sorry. What was your first name? Cheryl. Cheryl. My name is Jason. Hi, Jason. Pleasure to meet you. Where are you traveling from? South Dakota. South Dakota, no, wait a minute. Black Hills Gold? Yes, ma'am. Oh, there you go. Nice. Brandy new. Brandy new, you just got it? Yep. That's very cool. It's a gift from my, uh, my kids. Awesome. They said, okay, Mom, we're, we're going to buy you a ring this year. And they were up there and bought it birthday. themselves? Oh, gosh, no, no, no. We ordered it online. Oh, there you go. No. Well, you got to take a trip up and come see us. Yeah, we'll just be just as hospi uh, hospitable as you are. When I have a million dollars to spend. Oh, it's not expensive. Oh, no, but you don't understand. i got to go to all the Black Hills Gold outlets. Oh, so I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> For yeah. sure. All yeah, right. I got a little so pinchy guy in my hands here. is 58 cents today. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Trade again. Your change has come out. And David is your uh, supervisor, correct? Is he still here? Uh, I don't know. I am a penny short. Oh, that's okay. You can donate it to the, uh, I know the post office needs the money. <laughs> so they, they can keep the penny. Thank no, really, you. I am. It's the last no, that's okay. penny I have. No worries. Can I just get a paper receipt with that too, please? Okay, absolutely. Thank you. That way I can prove I was here. Put it in your scrapbook. Huh? I will. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And if David's available, yeah, I'd just love to speak to him for one second if he's willing. A long shot but it was a long shot no nope, he's not available not available i had a feeling but i appreciate you and i think you should have david's job well, i'm going to recommend that <laughs> have a great day thank you have a good day John. thank you and enjoy that goal good stuff i think so yeah it's beautiful i think so and John, you have a beautiful smile under that mask too i can see it so we appreciate that as well thank you thank you you're welcome have a good day you too so, uh, look at all these pinchies I have on my sneakers. 
<laughs> I got loaded up with those little pinchy things. But, uh... Oh, I got one. Yeah, you got one. <laughs> Let's, uh, take a walk around the back and see if our buddy David's hanging out anywhere we can yeah. see him. He doesn't want to come out. He was all, uh, all about his authority a few minutes ago. I don't know what happened. Things didn't work out the way he expected. Yeah, that's for sure. And like I said, guys, seriously, in all seriousness, I'm not, you know, people make mistakes. I've made millions of mistakes in my life. But it's extremely important that you internally fess up to your mistake and then externally admit you made a mistake. If you wronged somebody, apologize for it and then ask them what you can do to make up for it. Got a cigarette party going on out here. That thing stinks. Somebody just put it out because we got here. And uh, you see any restricted access signs up here? No, no, I haven't seen any on the entire building, actually. No, there's definitely none on that side. I mean, for some reason, that one officer felt like we're not supposed to be on the loading dock. But uh, there's nothing here that says anything about that. Definitely not. Yep, so see if David's around. There are uh, signs on the doors here that say do not enter. So there's your do not enter sign. Well, that's just the directional. Oh, yeah, you're right, too. Yeah, that is just directional. Yeah, this door has an arrow. Signs. Don't get too close because he's liable to see you and slam it open into your camera. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know where, uh, where our friend David is. Well, back to the uh, disrepair aspect. Everything at this post office is in disrepair. And, uh, yeah, if anything, you know, and I never uh, try to create call floods at places that we go to. You know, people do what they do on their own. I don't have to tell anybody what to do. But, uh, you know, I always just like to remind you that if anything you see gives you any uh, concern, questions, cause for alarm, um, you have every legal and lawful right to seek redress from your government. Um, all of our rules, so. I don't know what you think, but you're so unblind. I mean, the first thing somebody said to us when we got here was, see if you can get them to cut the grass. Yeah. So the citizens that live here aren't happy about this. If this was your post office, I mean, look at the garbage on the ground. And I'm not trying to make a big deal out of nothing, but, you know, David should say, you know what, you're right. We need to clean this place up. Nobody's really brought it to my attention. I get caught in the day-to-day -day, uh, humdrum of my life here, and I wasn't really thinking about it, but thanks for bringing it to my attention. We'll get it cleaned up. That's all. Or put in a request to have something done. You know, take some sort of uh, action to get your uh, get your post office cleaned up here. People aren't happy with it. Maybe yeah, that's what we should do. Maybe we should go around the front of the post office and ask people what they think about the condition of the property. The people yeah, who actually live yeah. here in that post office boxes here. How's it going? What's up? We're doing a little property inspection here, and I'm assuming that you have a uh, box here. So uh, I just wanted to ask you, as a customer of the post office, how do you feel about the condition of like, the grass and the <laughs> upkeep of the property? And It's not very good. So would you would it be interesting to you to see it cleaned up and yeah it'd be great okay well that's what we're here for good deal. appreciate you man yep. you have a good day thank you am i gonna see myself somewhere sorry am i gonna see myself on the internet uh you might sometimes these videos go up sometimes they don't but if you give it a day or two search the mr post office on youtube you'll find it cool. bye, hello ma'am how are you so we are here today doing a property inspection. We want to get this property cleaned up because of the condition that it's in. Okay. So we're just asking the citizens if you're aware, if, you, if the grass not being cut and the banner is not being replaced and all this stuff, does that concern you at all? Would you like to see that cleaned up? Sure. Okay. So we're just asking just to get a feel of how the yeah. citizenry here feels. Absolutely. Very good. Thank you. We appreciate you. You have a wonderful day. You too. I want it cleaned up. Very good. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. You have a wonderful day. Keep Thanks. smiling. We're uh, batting 100, 1,000, I should say, here. Uh, <laughs> 10 out of 10 people want this place cleaned up, David. I know you're watching the video. Let's get her done. Uh, but what did we ask? Four, well, the first lady that came in and then three more. Right? So that's four yep. people so yeah, far yeah. and all four of them. So four out of four customers surveyed recommend cleaning up the property. How are you doing, sir? No, I just had a quick question for you. Uh, do you have a box here? You're a customer yeah. of the post office? Yeah. So we're here trying to get the property cleaned up today. Uh -huh. So we're just asking the citizens how you feel about the condition of the property, the grass being overgrown, uh -huh. 
the you know the banner out in front that's all torn up and it's just a little bit of a mess. Uh -huh. So we just want to ask some of the would you be interested in seeing the property be cleaned up at the grass cut? Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. we're just asking the citizens just get a feel of what people think. But well, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. For our uh, Spanish speaking friends out there, today's David's day to be a pobrecito. How are you? Good. So we're here today uh, trying to get this property cleaned up. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming you're one of the customers here. Yeah, probably right. living occasionally. There. I actually live over in Santa Rosa Beach, but oh, okay. the office closed early. Oh, very cool. I have a cousin that lives in Santa Rosa Beach. Um, but this uh, property, I mean, the grass, you can see the condition it's in. Oh, I don't yeah. know if you saw the banner up here on the top of the building. Uh, on the I, wall. I did. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So yeah. we're just asking the citizens if it would be interesting to you to have this place cleaned up, if, you, if that's something you'd like to see happen. I mean, I think so, especially because it's a tourist spot. Absolutely. So, and, and we want them to, to see that we take care right. of our area and keep I mean, they come back no matter what. But I mean, they're here for the beaches, but I mean, it... it, it It'll actually show that they care. Sure. No, and I know, think Miramar not, Beach. Not just about, you know, us locals, but, you know, the visitors too. Sure. No, and like you said, I think Miramar Beach, Santa Rosa, Destin all make a very concerted effort to keep things nice and clean and organized. Yeah. So I wish they would follow suit. So we're trying to get that done here today. Yeah. Very cool. I appreciate you taking a moment to speak with us. Thank you so much. Thank have you. a wonderful day. And uh, if you do have any questions for them, the supervisor's name is David. Okay. Okay. Thank Thanks. you so much. All right, guys, you saw how that went uh, here in Miramar Beach, Florida, um, at the post office. Uh, the citizens of Miramar Beach want this place cleaned up. And, uh, you know, that's probably why David doesn't want this place on camera, because uh, people see what condition he's keeping it in and uh, take issue with that. So the uh, sheriff's deputies handled the situation excellently, um, knew our rights and then left and didn't try to give us a hard time or ask for ID or anything. And uh, that's what we like to see. The post office here is just a cesspool of unprofessional behavior and, and uh, failure to upkeep the premises. And uh, you know, it's very unfortunate. So if you guys uh, have any feedback for the post office here or for the sheriff's deputies, uh, contact info is always in the description so you can voice your concerns or questions. And uh, you can let them know what you think, and uh, you can let me know what you think in the comments. But I definitely highly recommend you guys check out the description. Like I said, contact info is down there, and uh, a lot of information goes down there that uh, you guys would probably find interesting. So make sure you check it out um, on all my videos. Hopefully these people educate themselves here about publicly, public photography laws and our rights. And uh, that's about it for this one, guys. So if you like these videos, you appreciate what we do, and you want to see more of these videos, uh, best way to support the channel is to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, check out my other social medias. So, watching the Watchmen, out with Amagansett Press, here in Miramar Beach. See you in the next one, guys. Out. Uh,